Hi you guys, hello, hello. Welcome to my page. I am Tammy Neff and you are on my page called Tammy Loves Vintage because you will find that here I love everything vintage and I hope you will too. So let's um, let's just talk a minute about this project that I'm gonna be bringing you. Uh, this morning, I got a message from um, uh, uh, Kathy Miller and she had shared an idea that came across her Facebook this morning and I absolutely loved it. So I was like kind of investigating and I found that it was by um, uh, DIY Everywhere, DIY Everything, DIY Everywhere, I believe. And her name was Cassie Van Dyne. So I put it up in the t title of this um, so that you guys could you know, know where it came from. I did not invent it, um, but hi, Cindy Kane, but I um, I absolutely love it. So um, I'll show you, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how she uh, made hers a little different, but I'm gonna put my little, my little take on it, vintage it up a little bit um, more than what she had done, but I'm hoping this will inspire you guys. It's Christmas season, um, well, almost. <laughs> Almost, um, you, you know, you could do a lot of things with this idea. You could kind of, hi Sharon. Oh, it's nice to see you today. Oh, I bet Colorado is just beautiful here in the fall. And hey, hey, what do you say, Penny? Hi, friend. Hi, friend. So, okay, I'm going to get started here with this cruddy, cruddy book. If you guys remember, um, Beth had, my friend Beth went to an auction and she got a big box of books. And this one was, in really bad shape. Um, it, I mean, the box was just a mess anyway. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Edith. Um, and it, it is, says the explorations and adventures of Henry Stanley. Okay. It's all water spotted. It's not in very good shape. Um, hi, Tammy. Hi, Julie. So what I thought, I just thought this would be, and I, there was something about this jacket that even though it is just torn all to heck, I really like it. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Um, I had a bridal shower to go to this morning. So, um, yeah, so I tried. <laughs> um, so, okay, so my thinking with this book is, I'm not crazy for the cover. And what I'm going to do with it, I think it's gonna be okay to flip it. I don't think anyone is going to notice and I think that if by chance someone were to put this on their, you know, on their table where they see the backside, I think this, this deal would be a lot more attractive. So um, just keep that in mind when you're out book, you know, book shopping for all these um, projects. Uh, yeah. So now the next, let me put you down here just a bit. I didn't realize my top was so low. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I had no idea. Uh, okay. Hey, Becky. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. Um, so, okay, here we go. Here we go. Um, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to hot glue this because it's the only way I can think of to try and save it. If you can see. Now, listen, if the comments are in your way, just smush them over, swipe them over get rid of them and then you'll be able to see all of it because I think with me having my phone turned this way uh, like I have lately you guys all seem to really like that uh, hi Donna hi Carolyn oh is it cold in Maryland it was a little chilly here we had our heaviest frost here this morning but um yeah so any little flowers or plants that were hoping to survive did not survive this morning so what I thought I would do is just try and I mean you guys can see so anyone that that loves books please know that you know it was already a goner when I got a hold of it okay so don't be too upset with me I know there's book savers out there um, that don't like you to mess with books but I'm hoping to bring this book back to life in a different way. And I think we're gonna make it useful. Am, am I being mysterious? I'm telling you, I was very impressed with this that Kathy shared with me. And that just reminds me to tell you guys, if you ever see anything and you're like, dang, I bet Tammy would like this, send it to me. I would love, love to see, um, because you're right. Maybe I would love it and I'll share it and give you the credit. And oh, 
gosh darn, I'm going to run out of glue and I didn't grab glue sticks. Dang on it. Okay, we'll see. Hopefully I don't have to make a run for it. Boy, I hate when I do that. Uh, okay, so I am going to display this book. I'm going to take me clear out of it. There's Sherry Reckless. I am loving an old book. You are absolutely right. I'm going to give you a really awesome, um, well, well, hello, Lovett's Garden. I think that's Esmeralda. Hi, Esmeralda and Piper. Hello, hello. Okay, you guys. So I, so as you've heard me say, I don't like the front cover. I mean, I like it, but it just, I just don't think it would match in with some people's decor and stuff. And I feel like this side is better and it's still imprinted. It's still got, see, it's still got a little life to it. So I glued that backing down. Now I'm gonna glue down the jacket here is still just a little bit flimsy. I really gotta keep in mind I'm running low on glue. So, okay, I should be fine. All right, so there we go. So now what we're gonna do, let's see, I might have, uh, can't wait to see what I'm gonna do with it. I know I'm gonna be, oh. I'm going to be, um, I'm being all mysterious, aren't I? <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to bring my coffee pot over here. I just happen to be sitting at my kitchen counter. So don't, I've got my coffee pot <laughs> and it's going to be my little proper. And I'm going to try and do this to where I can, whoops, shoot, where I can see it and you guys can see it too. Cause I got to see what I'm doing, but I want you to see what I'm doing too. So maybe I'll just stand up here a little bit more. Sometimes it's just better to stand. Thank you for sharing, Edith. Yes, I think this is gonna be a good one, so I don't think you'll regret sharing at all. Um, okay, so uh, in order to, I wanted to find just um, an interesting, let's see, I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's words all the way up. If you guys can see that, it's words all the way up, okay? And so I'm going to um, start with that. And then what you're going to do, this is so simple, you guys. It's so, so simple. I'm going to find, again, another page like this that's words all the way up. And I'm going to put a big pile of glue. Oh, gosh, I'm going to run out of glue. I just know it. I just know it. They're right in the other room. At least I know where they're at. It won't take me but a minute. And then, so I put a big line of glue, and then I'm jamming this whole wad. I can't even tell you how many pages it is. I just grabbed some. Um, and from 700 to 721, so 21 pages. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Lucky me, that was easy. Okay, and I don't like this watercolory look. Let's see what this back page is. Of course, there's no words, no words. All right, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull those out. And just in case, yeah, that's better. Just in case this, um, I think that's a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead and manipulate this. Let's see here, can I get it nice? Yeah, I'm gonna square that off. Of course, you know, it was all falling apart and janky, so I'm I'm doing the best I can here to save it. And I know you're all like, oh no, use glue. But I think it will look better. I don't think this is a step that we really have to worry about, but shoot, I'm a little crooked. Too late, it's down, okay. It's just, a, it's just a little jacked up because the book is just jacked up, right? We have a jacked up book. I don't think it's going to matter, to be honest, but, you know, we like to go the extra mile here. So, okay, so then I'm going to take just another pinch. Now, oh, that's a pretty, um, I'm getting, I'm taking that out. We'll save that for another project because that's amazing. Or I'll put it in one of your book. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, we're saving that. Okay, so I'm gonna take another pinch here. Anybody want a camel? <laughs> it's got a camel in it. Um, there's some kangaroos. Let's see, I'm trying to find a page with no pictures. Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, for goodness sake. And I want one with words all over. Oh, for heaven. Heavens to Betsy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me go backwards the other way. Maybe I can find. <laughs> okay, so I didn't pick the right section here to do this with, did I? Let's see. Well, that might have to do. There we go. This will do. Okay, so I have the first little section. Now I'm going to take another section. I'm going to put a big old pile of glue in there. And I'm going to wrap this whole section. And they don't have to be like the same size. It's whatever. Okay, don't just, 
just grab a wad and go. Now, no one's gonna see this side. I just want this part to be good. Okay, so let's find another little, oh boy, here we go again. Another little section with words. Oh, for, here we go. Okay, <laughs> all right, so we're going to do another one here. So I'm going to put a big pile of glue here on the inside, okay? And then I'm going to push this whole lot of books down, or pages down in there like that, okay? Okay, and then you can call it done here, but of course I'm gonna go just a teeny tad more. Oh, that's a good spot. Uh, I should've went through this for the pictures before I Okay, that's a nice one. Okay, so let's do one more. We're at least gonna do one more, and we'll see. So that's one, two, three, that'll be four little sections. Okay, so then we're going to, oops, then, oh, okay. Then we're going to tuck this one in, just like the others, pressing all those pages in there. That one's not quite as tight. Can I do one more? I think I'm gonna do one more. <laughs> There's no rhyme, no reason, you guys. I'm just there. Okay, let's see here if I can do one more. Mm. Yeah, I can get one more, but it's not going to go all the way back or my book won't stay open. I want you to be able to prop it up against a wall or something like that. So let me see where this is falling, and that's where I'll put my glue. Oh, I'm almost down in there. But I think what I'll do is glue this last page like that, and then let's just let it go wherever it wants to go. Okay, if I can get it down in there, I will. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I have all of my, <laughs> I have all of my uh, sections there. Okay, let's see if we've missed any questions. I think everybody's with me. It's really not too, oh, you don't wanna look at my chin. That's my, oh. My husband calls me chisel chin and I hate it. <laughs> Don't all you start calling me that. Uh, hi, Diane. Oh, he hasn't called me that in a long time. Hey, Dee Dee. Hi, I'm glad you're here. No, it doesn't have to be a thick book at all, Nancy. I was playing with all sorts of books upstairs. Um, but the ones that I have are like reds and greens, and I thought, oh, for Christmas, I don't want to ruin those. Um, you love the picture, Sherry? Uh, oh, well, thank you, Dee Dee. <laughs> thank you very much. Gee whiz, I guess you guys can tell when I, wa <laughs> when I wash it. So, okay, now the fun part begins. So let me just say that from here, you guys, the sky's the limit. You could, you could take family heirloom photos and you're just gonna stick them in amongst the pages and make, like this is way too big, obviously. Uh, thanks, Dee Dee, I appreciate that. Um, thanks, Joanne. So you can, you can make pictures, like photographs, and that is what, um, that Cassie that, that uh, shared this idea, that's what she did was used, uh, or, or no, it was postcards. I think she put a postcard in, but I'm just saying, like a graduation and you could stick senior, um, pictures or you know um whatever you know daughter for a gift for your daughter if she loves vintage you could do that like sort of thing for her um because it was someone else's thing but i loved it and i wanted to put my own little you know vintage twist to it i went upstairs and pulled you know i share all of my papers with you guys so I pulled some papers that I think I'm gonna be able to work into this book. So let's, um, let's see what we can do with it to make it uh, sort of special. I don't know if I need to lean, leave it leaning up here. This coffee pot's bugging me though. So, okay, let's do that. I'll move you over here, but I, I want you to see what I'm doing too. So I'll do that um, there. Okay, so first off, I pulled, I'm gonna show you, I was ripping little pieces off, like I've got a whole roll of tickets when you guys get the paper packs, you get tickets. Um, I found this little bundle of cards that were punched, it was Time Clock Employment um, cards, and I just, but I loved the bottom, I loved that time part of it. I pulled some old music. I pulled a little children's book. So when you get your paper packets from me, they don't make um, 
You missed the beginning. Oh, Maria, see? That's why we need to be, you guys need to be text friends. I'm gonna give you the number again. Go grab yourself a pencil. Um, grab yourself a pencil and paper. I'll lay it down here so that I remember. And I texted everybody that's in my group now, uh, in my texting friends uh, from here. And I text them and let them know I was going live. So you guys, I said, I said, I'm going live just as soon as my glue gun heats up. <laughs> so <laughs> however long that would take. Uh, it would be cute. Uh, what is Trish or Thelma or Thelma? Yeah. Hi Thelma would be great to put Christmas. Yes, exactly. I, lo I love that. You thought of that. Yes. Um, just anything, anything. So, uh, I'm just showing you now, like in your little paper packets, I have two sizes. I have a $10, uh, small little size that would be plenty to do something like this. And then I have the larger pack is $25. And, um, I did get it, but I lost track of time. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought we were, I thought I could message you too. I thought you were in there, but no, I thought, well, it, it must not be. Um, well, thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. And I, uh, what, let me see who that is. I thought it said dirt. <laughs> I thought, what a funny first name. Dirt Red Blessings. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you love getting the text. I oh, thank you, Debbie. So, okay, everybody got your pencil and paper ready? It's 740-273-6693. Pretty soon I'm gonna have it memorized. I'm really close, but I don't trust myself. So, okay, so I just want you to see like the assortment of papers. So when I am putting papers into your packs or when you guys are, are looking through old papers that you already have, look at the different um, colors and fonts and things and see how they're all going to mix really well together. So that's what I look for. So you may open it up and say, this doesn't make any sense, but I think when you watch me create things enough, I think you'll, um, Oh, hi, Amy. I didn't recognize your page. I have to give you a follow. Awesome. Awesome. I love that you put your page on there, please. Yes, please leave it. Um, okay. So Okay, so let's get started. I'm not gonna glue anything in, I don't think. I think I just want it to be free form. Um, I'll probably be putting this in for sale. I don't need any more decor. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna, I'll have it eventually in a sale or on my website or something. So I want you to be able to change it out if you want to. Um, so I have some old tickets. Uh, three might be too many. Well, we'll just tuck the first set down in there. Nobody will know. Or you could take them apart and put your pictures in and do your own thing with it. Um, then I have, let's see, what does this say? Lifetime is working time or the helping word. I think I like the helping word. What's the back say? Never give up. Oh my gosh, I really like that one. Okay, let's do that one. I like that side better. Okay, so let's see how far down in here I can tuck this. Yeah, and then the little stamps will just hold it back, right? Okay, oh, I got you looking at me. I'm, I picked it up so I could see. Love seeing a different way of using pages. I love that. Oh, good, I love that. You're getting it. You get it. Yeah, you get it for sure, Thelma. Good, 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 good. Uh, okay, so this is where we are. I'm going to put it down where you guys can be sure to see everything I'm everything I'm doing because um, I don't want you to miss a thing. So uh, then let's see here, what do I wanna do? So I've got this time card and it's it's a little bit tall, so I'm gonna stick it in here at the top so that it can show. And then maybe I'll put just a piece of, um, let me see what I have here. Um, let's just take this little piece right here. I'm gonna cut the bottom off. Let's just stick a little piece of sheet music there. Man, maybe I'll do, that's such a wide, um, I'm gonna cut some of that border off. Now, usually I rip it, but there's hardly enough there to rip, really, so I'm just gonna cut it. Um, let's see. Because it's really just the different fonts and things that you wanna see, and I'm not, oh, it's a little too long. Let me cut that down. Uh, I'm not going to fill it. Um, Y'all might have something that you would want to put in or whatever. So, okay, I'm good with, oh, here, this is already torn. How about I just tuck a little torn one in there? Let's see, do you even see it? 
yeah, just in front where there's no writing there. Okay, so then um, the other thing I wanna remember before I get too far along is that I wanted to put something down here on the flat part, just in case, let's say it ends up on an end table up against a lamp or something. I wanna have something down low. Let's see, that had a beaver on it. We don't want a beaver or a bird. I just want the writing, so, oh, come on. And there's two pages. We wouldn't wanna waste a page of a dictionary. Oh, for, there. <laughs> okay, so let me just rip, just rip this. And then I'm gonna rip this. Oh, let's see. I don't even need to do that. I don't even need to worry about that because that's going in here. So it's kind of the same color, but yet just enough of a change in the font that it shows up. Um, I really like this brown paper too. Maybe we'll put that, mm, I almost need to rip that in half. Yeah, let me rip that one down. It's super dark, love it. So we want that to stick up just a bit. Uh, maybe I can, oh yeah. What if we just piece that in right there, like that. And oh, I have this little teeny piece of um, music that's just gonna be scrapped. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tack that down here to, uh, I don't know where to there but like if you had a little bird you know I have all those little birds on my website but it'd be cute to set a little bird here and kind of incorporate some decor in it um okay so let me keep going here I have this old envelope this is Philadelphia Pennsylvania uh can I find the year April 3rd hmm, I can't make out the year Jackson Florida it says and it was from Jackson, Florida, postmarked. Anyway, no, you guys don't really care about that, but I do, I love it. So, okay, so see how I have all of the different, uh, like, let me pick, here, this will be easier for me to pick this up. So see where we are so far, okay. And see how it's just interesting? So see how you could almost kind of scrapbook this up and make it good and then i told you i kept the kind of more simple back see that as opposed to that so anyway, whoops this just slid i might have to tack that down even though i don't want to but all you'd have to do is cut the page out underneath it and it'll be fine okay just so it's not slipping and sliding in this one too okay then i have this um it says let's see yeah, Fido says Bow Wow, which is uh, the Eclectic series. Do I wanna tear that off or leave it? Yeah, I think I wanna tear it off. Okay. And you guys see how you could just continue and keep going and going. And I kinda, I think, I think I'm going to tack this one because it's wanting to lay forward. So I'm gonna tack that one up just a little bit. Let me manipulate it here while it's wet. Okay, again, it's all pages. Um, I think they could all be manipulated around. Here's a card, Clifton. Let's see, what is this? I don't even know what it is, but it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll, hmm, hmm. No, here, let's put this as far in as I can, and then we'll put this postcard thing with just typing um, there. Is that good? It's kind of covering it. It just depends on what angle you're looking at it. Um, but yeah, so okay. And then I have a little piece of, oh, I have two. So if I need anything filled in, it looks like the old mimeograph sort of typing. It's a little blurred, okay? So let's see what we can, I saw a couple comments there, but I'll have to look back later. Okay, I am going to tape, or I'm gonna try and tack this down so that it goes, shows. Okay. And I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this one. 
hope you'll all like that stuck in there. Oh, here's a piece. I could put this right here. Cool. I like it. Okay. So there's that. All right. So here's where we are. Okay. And then, um, oh, here I've got this little thing I pulled out. I pulled these these cards too, I thought they were cool. And it says back then, they were old flashcards, <laughs> like spelling bee flashcards. I thought that would be cool to put back then in there, but no, nope, I guess not. Oh, here's something else I pulled. What is this? Receipt for registered article. Oh, it's a postmaster. I don't think I, don't think I need it. I think we're in good shape. Um, you guys could totally make a lay flat book like this and fill it, like fill it, fill it but I think I'm gonna leave mine where it can set up like this, and then if someone wants to add their own or whatever. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, we're not done yet. Let me, I should look for comments, make sure, make sure. Oh, my glasses are always done. Um, I wanna make sure, oh my goodness gracious. Okay, um, the options are great. Yep, that was Thelma. Okay, so I've read that far. Oh, thank you, Thelma, for sharing. That is the sweetest thing you could do. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Becky. You know what? When you guys sprinkle, that tells me that you like what what I'm doing. And um, so I love that. It's like an honor. <laughs> thank you. Um, you could use old recipe card. Absolutely. In a cookbook. What a great gift for a granddaughter if you put your handwritten recipes and gifted that to her as a way to display. I love that. Great ideas, you guys. Um, would be cute to put special things from saved vacations. That's exactly right. So many options. So, so many options. It looks like a typewriter. It does. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to, of course, I never like a key or anything that has a hole in it. I, I always like to kind of do a little something to it. So I'm not going to do a bow. I think I'm just going to do that. Let's see, there's some writing on that side. So we'll leave that side up. Cut that off. And then I thought maybe we could stick a key. Oh, that might be cute just right like that. And my string's a little too long, isn't it? That might be cute on those pages. I was thinking just to lay it here like that, which, oh, you can't see. I'm sorry, gosh, I stink at this. Ugh. Okay, so do you like it laying or do you like the idea of putting it on the pages like that? They're both good. Okay, let's see if I can make it better. Um, I have I have some old, and I say old burlap, but it really is. It was on another project. I don't know what, but I it's kind of got some glue spots on the back. But let's see about maybe something like that, just to add a little texture to it. Okay, which also gives me then another tuckable spot like that. Oh, how about that? You like it on the pages? Oh, and you like it on the laying. Okay, I need one more person to tell me because I got one and one. So that is not much help. But I kind of think that's kind of good. What do you think? I have, okay. Oh, I see some thumbs up. You like it that way? I kind of do. I kind of do. Okay, so let's really unique oh thank you thank you on the pages okay all right we're going with it so I'm going to hot glue this to the pages and then I'm gonna hot glue the key uh oh laying you like the burlap idea okay thank you guys all right I'm sorry you can't go with everybody right okay so I'm going to do that with the key I got the little string going. You could put a ribbon if you needed to add, you know, some color or whatever. You can tie your ribbon in there. And then I love the idea of using this 1942 Zanesville, Ohio. That's where I'm from. Um, so it was a local piece of paper that I have found. And let's just, oh, I'm not going to glue it. I'm just going to tuck it like that. Okay. All right. I'm thinking about if I if I end up shipping it, that's going to be a tough one to ship. Okay, so next thing, I have some little buttons here. 
Of course, they're just my white buttons. And I, what I thought is I might make a little pile of buttons. Um, let's see here. Aren't you guys just excited that uh, Kathy shared this with me this morning? Bless her heart. I mean it. I was so inspired when she sent it. I'm like, oh my gosh, yes, girl, I'm doing it today. I hope she, I, she's in my text group. So I think she, oh, did she text it or she might have messengered me. Oh, look at this. It's a little button flower. How cute is that? There, there. I think I'm going to do it right here. Oh, that's so good. Is it too much? Never enough, right? Oh, it might be kind of cute just laying. Oh, so many options. So many options. A piece of lace. Oh, that's a cute idea. I haven't been able to use my hearts. Aw. Thank you, Thelma. I wonder what's wrong with your hearts. Uh, gotta go. Oh, bye, Dee Dee. Um, absolutely. I'm just about done. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you, guys. Sue says, go for it. Thelma agrees on the pages with the burlap. Okay, and then we're back to where you guys were helping me decide. Um, so, okay. Do I like it just laying or does it get lost? Is it too good of a treasure? It might be too unique of a treasure. Let me... And I don't like the buttons so close together. Oh, I know what I'll do. Ha ha, hang on. Oh, and you guys can't see for Pete's sake. A feather? Oh, how cute that would be. Yeah, I didn't grab a feather, but that would be super cute. You guys are amazing. I love that you're getting it and that you like it. That's so awesome. I love it. I thought you would like it. Okay, so let's, I still love burlap. I know, I know it's probably about done, but look how you can, it's just got such great texture and it's neutral and, and all of that stuff, so. Yeah, I kind of kind of like it. Okay, let's create us another little place here to put some buttons. Cuz I I felt like they weren't showing up on the pages. Oh, the very best buttons are the ones with the strings in them. See? See how good that is? Like I used to sit and take the time to cut that stuff out and find one without. There's one without. See? I love it. I love the texture. So when you're out button shopping, if you got a bunch of strings and you're like, oh, I hate that. No, 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 no. You need to love on it because that's the best part. So we'll put this button with the stringing on it. Sometimes I flip it over and let the stringing part um, show. It just depends on my mood, I guess. There's no right or wrong. You do what you want. But yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I do that. Okay, so there's that. So I have a couple little puddles of buttons. I was thinking about putting a button like, you know, up here on this stuff somehow, but I don't think it needs it. I think I'm going to, I think I'm gonna call it done. Yay, what do you think? You guys like it? So, I mean, it totally would lay open. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I mean, we totally could lay it open. This is split. I better tack this down, even though I didn't really want to do that. I better tack it. Um, cause it's got, a, it's got a couple, it's got like a split right up the middle where the book would have closed. So, okay. So there we go. Yay. You love it. Thank you. Yay. You always took the strings out too. See, Teresa, no, leave the strings in, they're good. That's the only one, that, I mean, I have this white one has some strings, but they're not like dark and dreary. But sometimes like you see, but like, so that one, I would probably flip it over for the texture. So that's good. And then I did spot another one. Where, where, where did it go? Oh, here it is. It's just a little broken one. But even the broken ones, so you just put the, let me show you the broken part. There's the broken, see? But so all you would do is glue it down so that the broken part would be down and you would never even notice it. So don't throw the broken, and like this one, this big one here, let me see if I can get it up here to show you. It's all cracked up, but you can't, I mean, it just kind of adds. Can you see the bigger one? It's kind of cracky. <laughs> don't, don't matter. Okay, 
I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Um, I've got one more thing, not today, but I need to, I'm gonna try something that I want to try. I saw it at a um, vintage show. Oh, Vicki, I wish you were my neighbor. <laughs> I need a friend that gets it besides poor Julie, you know, <laughs> we're always talking about this stuff and she's like my main friend that gets it other than all of you guys. So thank heavens for you guys. Um, you have never left the string either. Oh yes, you guys leave your strings cause that's the best part. Oh, and I started to say like sometimes you'll find red threads or uh, blue threads and that's just a way to get a tiny pop of color and texture and keeping it vintage, it's a really good look, a really good look. So don't throw, even if it's colored. Books look out, I'm coming. <laughs> Velma, oh, you might need to leave some for everybody. Don't buy them all. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. Never left the string either. Carolyn loves it. Yes, Vicki, I wish you could be my neighbor. Thanks, Julie, I'm glad you like it. Yay, Thelma. Okay, and Brenda loves it. I think we had a good one today. A doily or laced hanky folded. Oh, you're right, Nancy. That would be so cute. Thank you, Cindy Kane. Yeah, a doily coming out of there would be really cute. I do love the idea of, of a lace or something. Um, I don't have I don't have any lace laying here right now, but like the idea of a bookmarker coming out like that would be really cute. So okay. All right, you guys, that's all I have. So if you want to be my best friend, you want to be my best friend, text me. We can be best friends. Um, old pennies. Oh my gosh, Nancy, you're so right. Um, text me at 740-273-6693 and we can be, oh, I had this one last piece I want to put on. We could be BFFs for sure. We can all use we can all use friends. So I did have this little piece of advertising. I cut this out of an old like ladies home journal or something like that. And so I was thinking of laying it there um, at the bottom. So let's do that. Oh, now that I've gone onto the pages. Oh, I'm just looking. I might need it there more. Hmm. Now nah, I'm gonna do it down here so that you can see that it's a book. I think I wanna, I think I wanna leave it bookish. Um, yeah. I think I do. Now, if I fill it all up, you won't see the book pages and you might not appreciate. Of course, I guess you could tell it's a book from down here, but anyway, there you go. Yay. So text me 740-273-6693. Yes, 740-273-6693. You guys are going to memorize that number before me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're busy crafting. Oh, is that Betty or Betta? I can't, it's all blurs together on me. It's Betty. Hi, Betty. Uh, you're busy crafting and watch this. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So, okay, you guys, I'm not going to hold you up any longer. I hope you have a great Sunday and, um, yep, get out there and start looking for some books because I think this is a good one and, and right for Christmas season, you could make one, um, with memories for kids, moms, grandparents, friends, whatever. So you be my best friend. Oh, Teresa. Yes, you already are my online best friend for sure. <laughs> so, okay, you guys, I'm glad you had fun. I had fun too. Thanks, Nancy. And I'm glad you like it. And I will see you again um, whenever I have something else. Text me and uh, then I'll be able to let you know when that's going to happen because I can't always promise um, when I'll be here. Um, we have a big painting job that we'll be starting tomorrow, so um, we'll see how long that takes. I'm praying only two days for me, um, then the girls can take over, I'm hoping, and um, then I want to get my house decorated for Christmas, so I need to show you guys all my stuff before I do that, so yeah, we got a lot, you know, it might work out perfect if I just bring up the tubs. And as I'm laying everything out, we could do it that way instead of unpacking it down there, repacking it, bringing it up. Yeah, I'm just thinking out loud, but yeah. See, that's what best friends do. Thanks for listening. Thanks for helping me think that through. So <laughs> that's all I have. I hope you guys love my my book, uh, Keepsake Treasure. Here's what it looks like like from the side. I think it'll be cool like all the way around. Oops, I got a, I got a bent page there. There we go. Nope. I gotta see what's happening with that. And then this is the other side. There, that's better. And then this is the back. 
So I suppose the more you do it, and maybe if you're better at lining up your pages or, you know, like maybe you need to count your pages so that it's exact. You guys, it's my first time to do it. I just saw a little thing about it. Um, but yeah, I bet we could do better than that. But so that's what you get if you just do it like I did. Um, but it's still great from the front. And, I, you know, of course, if it were me, it would be leaning against a lamp or an old wood box or something like that. I would put a greenery plop on the side. And so um, maybe whichever side was not the prettiest and have, I love the idea of having a bookmarker or two hanging out of it. So there you go. Um, yeah, I think it'd be great decor and super interesting for people, not just something that, you know, Hobby Lobby or wherever everybody shops. Um, it's unique. So when someone says, oh, I want one of those, well, they have to make it, right? And that's so cool because most people won't take the time. And so um, that's what will set your decor apart and be a little more unique than, you know, to me, when someone comes over, well, that probably doesn't happen too much at my house, but like when I'm at a client's house, okay, here we go. We pull, we pull in, we walk in to do a paint job and I've got six girls with me. And someone says, oh, my mom has that same picture. And somebody else said, yeah, my sister has that too. That's not what you want. You want unique. And that's what we go for here. Okay? So there you go. That's what, I'm, that's what I've been trying to spit out. <laughs> so, yes, Nancy, it is a treasure chest of memories. Or it could be for sure. You always get in late. Oh, Teresa, yes. Um, y yeah, I know what you mean. But it's nice to watch the replays. Then you don't have to listen to me you yammer on and you can just you know, slide the bar and get to it. So that's always good too. So you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Bye-bye. Oops, I did an old hymnal would be great. Oh yes. Yes, that would be nice for a church, um, for your church, like your secret sister or something like that. Oh my gosh, that would be a great thoughtful gift. Um, and I know a lot of churches have hymnals, like they get new ones and then they keep the old ones you know, forever. Um, if you could talk to the minister and get an old hymnal, how special would that be? Yeah. Love how you're thinking, Teresa. Okay, you guys have a good day. Bye-bye. An old hymnal. Yes, Betty. How awesome. Some people would feel like you were defacing it or whatever. When I had my store, I had taken some pages out of a hymnal and done a lampshade with it. And it was like, how great thou art and songs that were special to me. And I had them all kind of haphazardly on the shade. And I had a lady come in that was not happy uh, that I had done that. And she was, it was, I, it was kind of an, uh, a, I was very sad that it was hurtful a little bit. And um, she kind of shamed me for doing that. And I, my reply was, that a lot of those songs were my grandparents' favorite songs, and so the lampshade was very special to me. And that instead of having those words closed in a book that you could never see, they were out, and it made me think about those things every day, um, or every time I looked at the lamp, I might catch a different song or whatever. And so um, I think I softened her a little bit, but you know, the strangest thing happened the very next day, her name was Anne, and there was a new minister. We have a very small town, and the Presbyterian Church had gotten a new minister. Her name was Anne, and it's so funny. I was just talking about her this morning. Um, anyway, she came to all of the little shops in town to introduce herself and invite us to her church, and so we got to talking, and she loved how, you know, all the handmade stuff and the vintage and all of that. We ended up painting for her. She was a great, she became a really nice friend, and um Anyway, uh, I told her the story about what had happened the day before and she was so kind and so like, you know, she didn't say you do you, but kind of like cheerleadering to do that sort of thing. And she was the one that told me about all the old hymnals at the church and, and, um, we actually ended up painting that church. Um, and we did a ton of work. We did the sanctuary and all of that. And it was a great, um, it was a great moment for me though, to have that clarity from more of an authority, I guess, as being the minister than just a shopper. And so it was great. See how my videos go. You always gotta watch to the end because you never know where it's gonna go. I get all sappy. So, okay, you guys, have a great day. Thanks again for watching. <laughs> Oh, why I told that story, silly. <laughs> so anybody that joined late, here's what we made. <laughs>
we took an old book, we folded it up. Um, it was very special. Yes, it was very special. Um, okay, so there you go. We took an old book and did it up as a keepsake treasure. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, hello, Debbie. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm all done. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. If you wouldn't mind catching the replay, if you're interested in this, this is what we made. A little um, treasure trove of vintage items and then we were talking about how you could put recipes in them for gifts we talked about all kinds of gift ideas if you're interested in making something like that so okay so all of you guys are jumping on I'm sorry I'm jumping off I hate that but have a great day and and for the third or fourth time thanks for watching bye bye <laughs>